I'm back. I'm Alex. This is Code Along with Alex, and let's get right into it. Today we're going to look at crates. This is a short one, so there's no time to waste, even though we could waste some time, because it's really short. Uh, so let me do some reading, and then we'll get right into it. A crate is a compilation unit in Rust. Whenever Rust C some file.rs is called, some file.rs is treated as the crate file. If some file.rs has mod declarations in it, then the contents of the module files will be inserted in places where mod declarations in the crate file are found before running the compiler over it. In other words, modules do not get compiled individually. Only crates get compiled. A crate can be compiled into a binary or into a library. By default, Rust C will produce a binary from a crate. This behavior can be overridden by passing the dash dash create dash type flag to lib. So let's create a library and see how to link it to another crate. We'll toggle right back to uh, VS Code. We're going to skip cargo today because we're explicitly using Rust. So let me make a directory called creating a library. Let's change into that directory. And then let's make a file called um, What is this file called? That's weird. Rary.rs? Rary.rs. Okay. Now let's add some function declarations. First, we'll declare a public function that prints out. called Rary's public function. Awesome. Next, let's declare a private function that prints out, oops, called Rary's private function. Awesome. One more function. Oh, it's a little trip. Okay, let me make sure that I move this to the correct location. There we go. Okay. Finally, a public function called indirect access. And here we're going to print called Rary's indirect access. That mm new line silliness. It's not silly, it's just gotta do it because we're not using println macro, we're using the print macro. And then let's invoke private function. Okay. Next let's run Rust C great type equals lib rary dot rs. And then ls lib, and you can see that uh, we linked our library to another crate. So libraries get prefixed with lib, and by default, they get named after their crate file. But this default name can be overridden by passing the crate name option to Rust C, or by using the crate name attribute. Awesome. So that was quick. Now let's get to using a library. So let's create another file or another directory. We're going to call this using a library and then oh, make, yeah, using a library. And then let's change into using a library. And let's touch 
a file called Hmm. So actually, before we create a file, let's read some of the instructions. So to, to link a crate to this new library, you may use Rust C's dash dash X turn flag. All of its items will then be imported under a module named as the same library. Named the same as the library. Excuse me. Okay. So this module generally behaves the same way as any other module. So, I guess we're going to update the I guess we're going to create a file called executable now. So, touch Actually, this should probably be in the same directory as that last stuff. But we'll try it in a separate one and if not if it works in a separate one, that's cool. And if not, that's also cool. So touch. Actually, no, yeah, we need to be in the same directory. Okay. So let me delete this using a library directory and then let's change into creating a library. Okay. And then let's make a new file called executable.rs. Let's open that file and let's add a main function body that invokes rary public function and then rary indirect access. Okay. So I saved that and now let's do Rust C executable dot rs extern rary equals library dot rlib addition equals I guess yeah twenty eighteen and dot slash executable so run the executable. Hey, so you can see we called Rary's public function, then we called Rary's indirect access, that called Rary's private function. So you can see how we're starting to kind of nest our program logic outside of just single a single file and using modules and libraries and linking them. So that was really it today for crates. Next time we're going to dive into cargo again, but um, thanks for joining me on this kind of short session today. I really appreciate your company. I'm Alex. This has been Code Along with Alex, and see you next time.